this is going to be my turn. Well, my husband is going to go into. Well, good morning, everybody. And Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas, because it's today, the day that we celebrate oh, the birth of Jesus, our Lord. I am so glad to be here this morning, and we're going to be sharing with you a little PowerPoint. Um, and I hope we're going to be blessed today after we see this. Well, today, this is your Christmas at Georgia celebration. Were you happy last night or this morning? I don't know when you celebrate. For us, it was last night. And it was nice to see most of our family, not all, because of our, <laughs> our guests that we have these days, that is the virus. We have my granddaughters. She has right now COVID. She couldn't be here. And we miss some of them, but it was joyous to see the ones that they were here. I hope your Christmas was a blessing, was a nice celebration. But what about your feelings after the presents? How are you feeling today? Happy? Crying? Sad? And I was looking at everybody last night, seeing, you know, when they received their presents, everybody was feeling happy. It doesn't matter how much or how little they received, everybody was happy. But I know that in some places, there are some people that they are very sad. I remember one, one guy, one boy, the nephew of my daughter-in-law, he, one Christmas, he was very sad because he received only 24 presents. Could you imagine? Sometimes we are not satisfied with what we receive, and that's the sad thing. But it happens. And we don't know how the Pathfinders are today. Some of them, they're going to be happy. Some of them might be sad. And some of them might be angry. But that's what happens. Uh, let me try to go to the next one. Okay. Are you happy with your presents? Sometimes they give us things that they are very useful. Sometimes they give us things that we don't even need it. Sometimes we just the storage and then next year, maybe we give it away. Sometimes the presents represent something completely different for us, some of us. But many times during these days, we are so worried. I saw the stores all full of people and buying the cars full of things. And oh my goodness, I said, where did they get all this money to buy all these presents? Sometimes we are so worried, so concerned for presents and how it looks. Oh, I want the best one. Oh no, I have to do the best one for this person or for that one. We are so concentrated in presents and presents and presents that we miss what is really Christmas. Is Jesus is your celebration? Jesus should be the center of our celebration. And if we forgive about Jesus, we have to confess to the Lord and say, Lord, I'm sorry. I was wrapped into all the things. Forgive me and help me to keep Jesus in my celebrations next time. Pathfinders and directors and adventurers directors are you there watching for us? If we're happy, they will be happy too. If we are sad, it will reflect on our faces. That's why we have to include Jesus in our ceremonies and festivities. Jesus is the answer. Invite Jesus into your heart. Then our kids will also want to go to Jesus as they serve you and be happy and content with it, whatever they receive. I know very soon we're going to start a new year. We're going to see the kids today at church. What face are they going to see? Are they going to see a, a sad face of the director? Or they're going to be a happy face because Jesus is in our hearts. 
brothers and sisters, the time is coming that we need to be ready. We need to reflect Jesus in our face and our heart and in our lives in a way that these pathfinders will be happy to. New year, new resolutions. And I hope we ask the Lord to bless us during this 2022. New page, new beginnings. What we did, we did. And what we didn't do, let's do it this coming year. Let's have better clubs to prepare better citizens, to accept Jesus in their hearts of our pathfinders and adventurers. The Lord is coming soon and we have to be ready. I invite everybody, forget if we didn't do the right thing. Ask the Lord to forgive us and give us a new vision for 2022. The Lord might bless you and have you with him in your heart, Lord. Please be with us. That's what I'm asking in this moment. Let me pray with all of you. Our Heavenly Father, thanks for all the things that you have done for us. Thanks for, because you didn't mind coming and living like us, being born here. Now we ask, Lord, come and be born in our hearts. And the, the love that you give us will motivate us to do better and better in our clubs. Lord, we know you are coming soon. We want to see your face. We want to be with you. Help us to get ready. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.